Hello, Model Railroad fans. Welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. Uh, in today's video, we're going to take a look at this uh, Norfolk and Southern train set. It's actually the Thoroughbred uh, train set by Bachman. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I did a video review on this train set uh, a few videos back. And if you haven't seen it, I will post a link to it um, in the top right hand corner and also try to post a link to it down in the description. Um, but one of my viewers had checked that out and asked me if I would uh, mind shooting a little video of it pulling 10 cars. So I've got the train set set up here. And if we pan over here, we've got a box of train cars here. There's about two layers of them. So we should be able to find eight more that will work just fine. Uh, but before we pull eight more cars out, and maybe we'll see if we've got the space to run... 10 or 12, uh, 12 or 13 cars. We'll see what we can do. Uh, but let's give this a couple of warm up laps. And while it's doing that, I'll just shut up and back up and let you watch. All right, that's one complete lap. She should be warming up. That is two complete laps. So I'm going to let this run, uh, but I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to pull out a few more cars and uh, we'll see what we can pull. So I've got 10 cars on here uh, and I already gave it a quick test run just to make sure I'm going to run into my tail um, because this loop right here limits the length of a train that I can run and I had plenty of room. So let's just quickly pan around. And these are the cars that I added. And the two in the caboose are on the back that came with this set. So let's run a couple laps. And then let's see if we can sneak another two more cars on. We're going to keep it good and slow. Now by and large, I'll only be running 40 footers on this layout. Maybe stretch it up to maybe 50 foot. But anything longer with these 18-inch curves probably just isn't going to fly. Um, so I don't want those kind of problems. But anyway, so let me hush up and just let you watch. getting ready to go over a crossover and then I'm going to stop it momentarily just to show you something. All right, so you can see we're about to go over the crossover. So we've got 10 cars, 11 if you want to count the caboose. So we still have pretty significant 
amount of room before we run into our tail to run a little bit longer train. So just thought I would point that out. Uh, this um, is a budget Bachman. I don't know that I would want to test it much more than maybe 15 cars. So we've got 10 on here in a caboose. So let's let this make another two laps, then I'll stop it, and let's try putting five on. Uh -oh. I lost part of my train. kind of hand to got it. I was hoping that would be straight enough right there to hook up. Let's try that again. That section right there is where I have the most trouble. Try and squeeze in one more lap. And then we'll add some more cars. Seems to be running pretty smooth. I don't detect any struggle out of the locomotive. So like I said, we'll try five more cars and see how it works. Let's see if we can hang on to that Dairyman's car over there. In fact, I'm gonna stop right here and check the couplers on that car. I've added five more cars. So we have a total of 16 if you count the caboose. And as you can see, I ran it just a bit. I wanted to get through this cross over here and make sure I wasn't going to run into my tail. Um, it looked like I was safe, but five more cars added length pretty quick. All right, so let's start her up. So she is pulling with no problem. I didn't pull this many cars when I did a review on this train set. So if anybody is looking at this kind of for review purposes, even though this is not a review, know that you can easily pull 15 cars, not including the caboose. And some of these cars, like those four on the front, are quite heavy. And it is pulling just fine. And I did have to pull that yellow car off. I noticed that the coupler was a little bit low on it. didn't have the good sense to write down the name of the viewer who requested this so I can't shout him out but at the beginning of the video I'll try to remember to put his name to you know just pop up text all right let's back up 
and just let it get a couple more laps and then we'll stop. spot still makes me nervous. All right, Model Railroad fans, this is another look at the uh, Thoroughbred train set uh, by Bachman. Just a simple F7 and just giving it a little bit of run time and seeing what it can pull. I would imagine it could probably pull 20 cars, but I think if I tried to put five more on there, I would quickly uh, be running into my tail on that crossover. This twice around layout is really nice and the you know, it, it goes around twice and you get plenty of train watching time, but because of that crossover, it eventually runs into itself. All right, well, let's uh, wrap up this video. I want to thank you very much for watching. Happy model railroading, guys. Until next video, take care.